Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> They work with our class schedule really well. Um, so we submit a sheet uh, that has all the hours of the week on it. And um, it says when we can work and when we can't work. So we, we just fill in the blanks. Um, and then they just schedule us based on that. So we're never working when we're on a bank. Um, so that's another real, real advantage of this job. Um, Plus, I just enjoy it. I would rather do this than wash dishes, so. Allowing students to drive the bus is a learning opportunity and an opportunity for students to gain real-world experience. Uh, you know, there are great students that come to this university that go on to be world leaders and um, surgeons and politicians, and so um, I think students are more than capable of being able to drive a bus, um, and it helps them understand maybe uh, how the university works. Um, they're uh, a spoke in the wheel that continues, that allows the university to, to move forward every day. Yeah, so right here I'm going to just uh, record my passenger count. I had 31 passengers at a time. So I'll do that at 616, so I'm one minute behind. So I'll just keep going. So today I've worked two hours plus two hours. I worked four hours today, and I have two hours more to go. So it's it's tough. I mean, I work quite a bit. I work almost thirty hours a week most of the time. So that's a lot, but make it through. It's not too bad. Well, I've been here for over two years actually. I started at the beginning of my junior year and I'm now starting my fifth year, so quite a while. If anything, it makes me, it makes it easier to, I found that like, my GPA has actually gone up since I started driving. Um, I find that like, having my day scheduled out completely makes it easier to like, okay, I have two hours down here, like I need to like, do work here, versus before I probably would have like, gone home and taken a nap or something. And, like lost track of time, so. Being in a, a position where you serve the public, um, there are lots of requests on a very frequent basis, and so our job is to serve the public as best we can, and sometimes that means um, finding creative solutions um, in order to make sure the university moves along on an on a efficient basis. I started working here in March, so this is my fourth month because I took a lot of paperwork stuff. And the last step is to shut the battery on. Ah. See, that's the guy who fuels and puts the buses through the, the bus wash. I mean, that's a tight fit. I don't know how he does it so quick. He's good. A lot of times, um, and I've noticed with younger adults in particular um, that have been influenced by 
um, a lot of the social media is that um, people learn to expect things immediately without having to wait. <laughs> and so sometimes I think students, young, young adults that have never had to use a mass transit system before don't always understand that sometimes there's waiting involved. You know, uh, and we do a very good job of minimizing that waiting when we put out extra buses and maybe uh, we have a bus every two to three minutes at, at peak times on certain routes. So students don't have to do a lot of waiting, but um, you know, if you're, if you're not uh, able to bring your own car, you can't always go exactly when you want. So um, you got to build an extra 10 minute cushion into your, in, into your day if you need to travel sometimes. not getting late otherwise I'm a little mad but I cannot do that. Maybe some stuck in some traffic or something. This moment. The kids have places to be, especially kids that have classes on North Campus or on like South Campus. Like people need to get places. The app helps a lot too. Um, I just use the app and just keep waiting. I don't really get mad. I just wait. It's just it just happens. 